Good evening, everyone. How are you all doing? Sorry for the late, late vlog. Um, I've had a bit of a hectic day. Um, and had some bad news as well. So I was planning on doing this video um, about a mental health hospital, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Or whenever I can get my head sorted, but I've been with my mum all day today. Well, most of it from dinner lunchtime till about five o'clock. Um, oh, pardon me. So I've spelched a bit, I've got a bit of heartburn, I've just had some pop, and my head's a bit. <sighs> but, like I say, I've been with my mum all day, and if, if you're new to my channel, you won't know, but um, beginning of September, I think it was, my mum had a break, uh, obviously an episode. But what we found out now is that Scottish Power have been badgering my mum about a previous owner that lived in my mum's house before my mum of £4,000 worth of debt. Now they're trying to put pin it on my mum. So my mum's been stressing and stressing and stressing. And she's had an episode where she just, would, she would just, I think I've said it in my previous videos, nothing was there, she couldn't remember any, she, it turned out to be dementia, she turned out pseudo-dementia, um, which is put down to stress, the stress that she obviously going through. So now I've got Scottish Power's email. I've got certain stuff for my mum, which I will be dealing with over the next few days. They're going to get a mouthful from me. My brother's done it, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to make sure they listen, because it's not fair what they're doing to my mum. And other people that are out there. Now, my mum's going blind as well. So I need to help sort of pip out, because she's such, she's on... I don't know what's happening with my mum's money because obviously she's at that age for state pension so I need to help with that and pff, I'm so awkward because I'm in my bedroom I'm feeling really down because I feel like I should have helped my mum a long time ago but my mum is very independent she likes to do things on her own like today I took her out I took her to, like, we're running for local shops but we got out Oh, let me put my blanket on it. <laughs> I haven't ready for bed yet, but it's freezing. But I took her out and said, look, do you need some food? Are you hungry right now? Because there was a chippy across the road. And I had to make out I was hungry so she could have something to eat. I mean, I ate it because I was, I was pretty hungry. I was hungry, but not hungry enough. So I just said to put and my brother as well because he's stressing over my mum. He's, do, he's doing everything he possibly can to help look after my mum on a daily basis because he stays with her. And I'm thankful for that because sometimes I can't get over. Now I'm going to try and get over daily, even if it's for an hour or not. But I've seen a car that I'm possibly going to buy next month. But I just need that little bit more money to save up. And I think I'll be there. It's an old car. It's an event. In, well, it's a very old car. It's a 1996 old Astra but it looks it's okay it's got a bit of a dint but it's a car you can get me to here to be and I'm happy with that so she I did say to the lady if you don't sell it before I can get the money the funds can you just let me know if not if you if you sell it before and it's okay you know I don't and then the name popped up and I thought oh my god that's the same initials as my mum I'm like, whoa, my mum's called that, and that's her last name. Um, but, yeah, I'm really worried about my mum. She had a full-on panic attack whilst I was there today. Um, my sister rang up, we were just talking, and, you know, I think it's because my mum's so independent that, because we're helping her now, we should have done this a long time ago, but because we've got families, and it just, you know what I mean? And it's hit me, it's hitting me a bit. And I know it's hitting me, sister who lives further away from us. But 
I said to him, I said to her, look, if you put a half, I'll put a half and we'll get her a washing machine. Because she's got a washing machine, but you just need a belt for it. But I said, it's more hassle than it's worth. We'll come, I'll, I'll get her a washing machine if it comes to it. I'll put my car on hold, you know what I mean? But then I want a car so I can get my mum over to me. Or I can go over there and take her out daily. Because at the minute, I can't work due to my heel health, my mental health, my fibro. Oh my god, look at the state of my arm, it looks like a fatty mat here. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, and my mum only lives over the hill from me, but it's a quite a long walk for me. And I can I struggle just getting to so far to the street with my back. Um but that that really seeing my mum in that state, usually I'd panic with her and cry, but I had to a bit stronger one. I put my arms around her, I said, Look, breathe, slowly breathe. Got to manage to calm her down, but that hit me. I couldn't show her that I was upset, but it hit me really badly. This point, I wait till I got home and cried. Um, but I feel so bad for her. She doesn't. She's getting upset because she's upset the fact that she can't remember any of us, which is understandable. I know she's old as well. She's not old, old, but she eats up. But yeah, seeing someone deteriorate like that so fast, it's heartbreaking. I am trying my best with my own needs, my own family. And then what the hell sat on the wall? Oh, I've done a YouTube shot earlier because I got some. I wasn't gonna do Halloween because it's not my thing, but I decorated my house anyway. I got some. I thought I was ordering a, a website type thing, but they just turned up with fairy lights. I thought, oh, that's crap. And a spider. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I've got the stickers, but what am I supposed to put the stickers on? Because I'm not having my wallpaper ripped off. <laughs> but yeah, I've got some window stickers for me, are So I've got that up. So that's been up tonight. But because I, had, <laughs> I only had sellotape, so I was sticking it with sellotape. Now you can just stay at the window going, it's all peeling off by Monday, by morning, should I say? I bet all oh, that's just dropped to the floor. <laughs> I'm sort of shattered as well. So I think I'm in on the verge of a flare up as well. Because when I become stressed, I get a flare up and I can feel my eyes going, <laughs> but yeah, I'm shattered. And I'm sorry it's so late, but I've been trying to see. My mum's okay, Kevin, my brother's all okay. oh what's that? What did not forgot I had a hair clip in my hair. Um I've got an Olivia's therapy session tomorrow. Hopefully that'll go okay because the appointment that we had yesterday with Fab can't really get into that until a few I will eventually, but it's not that I've got people watching that I don't that probably are watching spying on what I'm saying so they've got an excuse to have a morn but yeah certain things I can't be said step my grey hairs <laughs> so yeah and the dog has decided her oh, I think oh the dog has knocked my son's phone over early and broke the screen and it's oh it's been one of them weeks everything's just going wrong oh so stressed out <sighs> Oh, there's the yard, sorry. <laughs> and kittens are driving me nuts. I'm banging about. I'm sort of putting me in a, another room for that night. Chill out, go to sleep. <laughs> and I'm starting to feel a bit hungry now, but I, I don't really want to be cooking at this time of night. My kitchen's already World War Three gone off in there, and I thought I'll deal with you tomorrow. It's not gonna, not going out anywhere, is it? So, yeah. It's been a busy, busy, busy day. Very hectic day and I wanted to do a video on something else. I've written it down, key points I wanted to talk about. And I thought, you know, I've got to do that when I'm more awake and more not stressed. One minute. I hate having fibro. My there's a lovely lady that watches this video and she has the same condition. It's awful in it awful because she just energy just goes and you're like oh dear <laughs> feel worn out 
I do. So I'm hoping, like I told them, I was speaking to my mum, having a right good old chin wag today. She's like, I don't like going upstairs. She's got a fear of stairs in flats. I said, you know what, I do live in a flat, but I've got my own entrance. And it's not those see-through stairs, it's proper brick and, you, you know, there's a wall at either side, so you're not seeing down. Because I wouldn't have moved in it otherwise, and you know I'm scared of heights. It's just basically clay, it looks like a two, uh, a house really, like I'm on the second floor. you upstairs like you did when you lived at all, your other home. She went, yeah, I said it's just basically the same. Kevin's been when you were in hospital and we got a taxi up. So yeah. So I'm all pinches. I've told her she's coming to mine for Christmas this year. Get her some little presents, put them under the tree. Uh, and try and help her best I can. Sent an email to the council on behalf of my mum today. Said some repairs I need to be done. So that's one less stress for her because she's been getting going, getting it back in dark. I'm like, why are you doing why don't you do it whilst I'm here? You know, I'll run a bath for you, so I know at least... I said, you don't, I don't have to be in there and helping you, you know, but at least then I know if you get stuck, which I've got a habit of getting stuck and I've got to have my daughter, but I've got a, a bath head and I've asked them if they would, wouldn't mind putting in, like, a, a rail in her bath on a wall so she can get out, if that's, you know, because she says she can get in. She just can't get out. And she doesn't like showers. She likes to get in the bath with mum. And she's like, well, I don't want... I said, hey, I've seen it all. When I visited your hospital, I did your personal care. I've seen your little fairy and, you know. <laughs> so it's nothing to be scared of. But, yeah, she's very independent, my mum. So, yeah. Good dog. Pack it in, Millie. Oh, I got myself some new shoes from Sheen and they arrived today and I'm like, ooh, they, won't, they didn't look like that when I was on. Don't stick your wet nose under my arm, Mrs. Wet Nose. Bad bug dog. So I took my dog up to see my mum. She's scared of dogs. She says big dogs. I said, well, my dog's not big. She says, bring a spaniel, but she's not big. You and my floorboard squeaking. Yeah. Council got a right mouthful from me. I cannot tell you cannot tell me they cannot do anything about that. And then I overheard now someone told me this and he works for the council and thought you were meant to tell us, but he said, Your block of flats now there's quite hang on, there's me upstairs, downstairs, so it's three. Four, he's downstairs, five, he's upstairs, six, he's Ten people, ten flats. One is, I'm in the middle, another one's in the middle over there. So, class has three bedrooms, but we use them as four because we've got a dining room. So, it's a fourth bedroom. And I've been told that there's a load of work going on, going to be happening to these flats. I went, yeah, they need, they need demolishing because they're sinking. They're sinking. Reason now, I don't want to do any work to these. So, now I'm not going to move until they move me so if that's the case i might as well wait till they move me or do at least do something to it because it's starting to stress me so I was, I was talking to my mum uh, not my mum my sister today about a wedding well she was talking about a wedding so i said oh yeah wait wait so yeah I can't remember what she was saying, but we were talking about it, and I went, yeah, so I'm not going to be a bridesmaid. I've never been a bridesmaid. Oh, my Lord, look at those prayers. I mean, I was joking with her. I'm not bothered, you know. I don't like being sent... I don't like being in centre of attention or anything like that. I'd be like, ah, head down. Because I, I basically do that anyway. As soon as I go out, if I have to go out the front door, my head's to the floor, and I'll look occasionally up, see where I'm going, and that. That's it. That's me. And it's always been me. And hmm, my CPM rung up today. I had a word with her. Um, so if in it, if I have to go in the hospital, my friend's gonna look after her. So at least I know she'll be well looked after. 
if I need to be, oh, you know, this one. <laughs> so, yeah, my mum's up here a little bit today because I went in to visit her. I sorted a few of my things out. A laptop, which is brand new, but it's a Chromebook. It's not good, no good for me. So, I've given it to her. So, she's happy with that. Give her a few, I'll give her a handbag and a purse so she's happy with that because I don't use it. I like my rucksacks, it's better. I've got my little bum bag as well, so that's okay. I've got a sheen holder for Olivia, so that's going to be put away. So that's close for Christmas. I need to open the bags, but I don't want to unfold them because they're a pain in the back, so I have to fold up again, aren't they? Oh, I will do at some point, I suppose. Oh, my Lord. Um, I was going to dye my hair. But it's late, so I'm going to get shower in the morning. Probably dye it in the no, shower. Because I've got Olivia's therapy session in the morning. Got I mean, drop her off back here. Uh, Thomas is going to look after her whilst I go to my mother's. You don't like spots. And then she's going to young carers in the evening. Yeah, they, I've got them to ring. La, 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 la. Got them to ring me today because I said, obviously, the reason why Liv is not been is because she's had surgery. In fact, you know, it's all going okay, it's all clean and dandy. It's going so many of us came out the other day, looked at it, was a bit minion, but it's fine now, it's clean. I forgot to do a washout, but they said it's fine, you can just miss the day if you forget. I did forget. And sugar, you know, when you've got so much on your mind, you're like, Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> so this video, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm a bit, I'm a bit loopy today, huh? I'm tired, but I'm doing my medication, but I don't want to take it because I've got a bit of a heartburn and I'm thinking that ain't gonna go down, but it only goes down with fizzy juice. Oh, I part my tooth came out earlier. I just sat like that, like that, like that. Oh, sat my tongue. Oh, <gasps> my tooth. But because fibro. Oh, I like talk about teeth. My teeth just like. <laughs> part of fibro as well. Your teeth can crumble. Didn't know that until I researched fibro one time. I hate these dimples. There. Because it looks like I've got food down my face. Or am I just. Paranoid. So yeah. So yeah. So my son received some bad news today, and he got a bit upset. So I gave him a cuddle. I don't know what to do. I know my mum, and I should. Well, I automatically do. Oh, what crap! A minute. I do get cuddles, but sometimes I feel awkward. Like, uh, what do I do around people that are crying? I'm like, um, you're right. Uh, even me, okay. I don't know what it is. I. Do, it, I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to respond to that, if you know what I mean. I've got to sit up. I've got cramp uh, in my neck. Jeez Louise, man. So, yeah. It's a bit chilly tonight, isn't it? Heartburn. Uh, anything else? Does anyone else suffer with really bad out but I mean I've got Lan's Opera so but that doesn't seem to be working so I think I need to get back onto the GP and see if they can hook my doors because I'm on the strong doors as it is oh oh sugar I thought oh good yeah heartburn but just very deep <laughs> so guys today I have got stuff that I do not use brand new stuff as well um what did i do with them too i've got a brand pair of shoes i am gonna donate those because i'm never gonna use them but this is what i mean when i'm having a good day and i have cash i buy stuff so i think i've got to be bipolar so i, I think i've been wrongly diagnosed with the pd i think that's what tom's got you know because he's a bit up and down it's worse than me um but yeah I'm going to donate some stuff to charity or I'm going to go on to a, one of my, I mean my glasses fixed, these are my new glasses, I finally found them. So I need to go on to Helping Hands where I am a local and I'm going to donate 
um, because I'm, I buy these things. I'm not going to charge someone else that may need it and they ain't got a lot of money. So I'm going to do that. Some toys for Olivia. I'm going to, whatever she doesn't play with, I'm going to donate them. I do, however, need to find a baby reborn doll for my mum because apparently I said I've got a doll and I cannot find it for love the money. And with dementia, sometimes the people with dementia like to cuddle babies. So I think that might help my mum. But yeah, I do have a reborn of Olivia's, but she can't give that away because it costs me 250 quid. <laughs> it's a baby J doll. Uh, another YouTube family that we follow. It's uh, one of their, representing one of their children. And he actually... But you know, it's really a good doll, but I can't get, I can't take that off my door. But she wants a pram, and well, she's twelve. This, uh, oh my god, it's about to soon, about a week away. We can choose what day are we on today? That's Wednesday. So we can choose this. It'll be a birthday. Ah, good one. But I said, what? It'll be easier by you know a pram like you buy for an actual human, human baby. So I think that's best. But she wants me to buy her a pram so she can push her cats in it. <laughs> you can buy prams for animals, can't you? Can you imagine me buying one for that dog? Where is it? Look at the state of that. Millie! Lazy bum. Anyway, guys, I've been rabbiting on for about 20 minutes because it's saying 21 minutes, point water, 41, 42. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go and go to bed. Because I don't know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm surely annoying right now. And I hope you like some of my YouTube shorts. I've sent some of my mum's birdies today, a cockatiel. Oh, I think I need to buy a bird now. Because my mum's got one and she's learnt it how to talk. The cockatiel is called Tiny and uh, I forgot what the other one was called. Don't know, but it was... Uh, it was loud. A parakeet, I think it was. Oh, for what do you call it? Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to look and leave because I need to go to bed. I need to be up first thing in the morning because I need to sort a bit of the house out before I go out. Take Olivia to her appointment. Come back. Did -do -do, take my mum's washing back up the road. And poop out for the rest of the night. And I might do my video about my all tomorrow. So I'm going to love you, leave you. Have a good night. Good night. God bless. And if you like this video, remember to press the thumbs up for a like, subscribe and press the notification button. And I will see you later. Nighty night.